Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Welcome back to the Wolf of Down Test Kitchen. So excited to be with you today. We were just up in Alaska filming for a few weeks and man, we absolutely fell in love with it. Alaska sets the gold standard when it comes to sustainability. And each season, the state only harvests as much fish as science tells them that the environment can handle, which allows the ecosystem to replenish year after year. We are thrilled here today to bring you an amazing dish sponsored by Alaska Seafood. We are making crab cake crusted Alaska halibut with roasted carrots and a sweet pea puree. Absolutely delicious, all about amazing springtime flavors and a lot of techniques you are gonna love. Welcome to Wolf It Down. All right, so let's kick this recipe off with our beautiful Alaskan king crab. Now this is king crab that we got at the market locally here in California, but that's the great thing about this. It's available year round. Yeah. You can always get it and it comes pre-steamed and pre-cooked, right? So it's literally one of the easiest proteins to just bring back to life. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So we've got a pot of water here, all right, boiling. With this, we're gonna just simply add some salt and we're gonna add some lemon to the pot. So you got one lemon, we're gonna squeeze this and then drop the whole lemons into the pot too. All right, so we're gonna take our crab legs, two seconds in the water. Again, you just wanna kind of bring them back up to temperature just to wake the crab legs up. This next part of this recipe is called canoeing the crab, right? And we're gonna take these things and kind of break them up into sections. So we're gonna take our towel, all right, hold it into our palm of our hands, and then take our heavy duty kitchen shears. And we're just gonna go straight up, and then you're gonna flip the whole thing over and basically cut the shell into two halves, which are gonna look like a canoe. Open them up just like this, right? Just take out gigantic chunks. There is nothing better than that bite of crab meat right, yeah. right there as is, right? So we're gonna take all this crab meat, we're gonna shell it, and then we're gonna turn it into the most delicious crab cake recipe you've never had anything better in your life. Now we have our crab meat shelled. We're gonna saute some onions and saute some garlic, and that's gonna be like the really super savory part of the filling that's gonna make these crab cakes sing. All right, so while the onions and the garlic are starting to saute, we're gonna finely mince some chives. Now some are gonna go inside the crab cake for that sweet little fresh onion flavor, and then we're gonna save some for the top for a nice little pop of color. So we've got our chives mince. Now we're gonna take some of our fresh bread crumb and just separate it into a separate bowl that we're gonna add some olive oil to, and that's gonna be the topping that's gonna have a really nice crunchy texture as if it were a crab cake. So now we're gonna stack everything up. We've got our beautiful shelled Alaska king crab, right? We've got our breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna add some mayonnaise to this. We're gonna add an egg white. We're gonna take the zest off of our lemon, nice fresh flavor, and then we're gonna add our sauteed onions and garlic. Finish it with chive, a little bit of salt, fresh cracked pepper, and then we're just gonna give it a little mix. All right, now once we get all the ingredients for the crab cake mixed together, we're gonna throw it into the refrigerator and let the mixture start to set. Let's talk about the star of the show. We've got four six ounce fillets of beautiful Alaska halibut. Really great tip on searing fish. Take a paper towel and make sure that you pat the fish as dry as you can possibly get it. A, so it won't stick in the pan. But most importantly, it's gonna give a great color and a great flavor, and it's a very, very easy technique. We're gonna take our pan, crank it up to medium high. We're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to that, and then we're gonna sear these things, and they're gonna look amazing. While the fish is starting to sear, we're gonna prep our side dish, which are these beautiful yellow, green, orange carrots. Really, really pretty ones, right? Salt, pepper, olive oil, 400 degrees for somewhere between 12 to 15 minutes until they're just nice and soft, caramelized, roasted, and delicious. All right, so the halibut, is looking really, really great. Now it's not cooked all the way through, but seared perfectly on one side. The other side is going to gently cook through 
once we bake that into the oven. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our crab cake crust. We're gonna pile it high on top of each filet. Next up, we're gonna put the breadcrumb on. All right, so we've got our oven set up and ready to rock and roll. 400 degrees, metal rack for about 12 minutes or until an instant read thermometer gives you an internal temperature of 130 degrees. Here we go, 12 minutes, we're almost done. So we got our Alaska halibut in the oven and we have our carrots roasting away. We're gonna make a sweet pea puree. This sauce literally has three ingredients. No joke, we've got one bag of frozen peas we're gonna add vegetable stock to this. And then we're gonna take the juice of one lemon, give it a nice fresh flavor. A little bit of salt and we're gonna give it a buzz, puree this up. All right, you wanna blend this for about a minute using a high speed blender and that's gonna take out all the pulp so you have this delicious, elegant, really soft, luscious, sweet pea puree. But look how vibrant the color is, isn't that amazing? We're gonna take a little bit of this and heat it back up again, right at the last second. You don't wanna heat it up too long because you'll potentially lose some of this vibrancy of the color. But if you can take it from this to hot, straight to the plate in like a minute or two, I think you'll be fine. 12 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees and you've got a beautiful crab cake crusted Alaska halibut. It's time to plate up. So what we have is our spring pea puree. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of our plate here. And we're just gonna make a nice little circle. Then we're gonna take our halibut here and we're gonna go straight to the plate. Just let it rest right in the puree. And then we're gonna take our carrots. And just kind of create two little stories here. One on one side and one on the other. And we have some beautiful spring peas that I actually pulled out of my garden. And then we have some pea tendrils from my garden as well. And then we're gonna add some chai to this. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? All right, then we got some chai blossoms to finish. And I think you got a really pretty dish. We had so much fun in Alaska. We brought back so much inspiration for great Alaska seafood. If you're at the store or if you're at a restaurant, ask for Alaska by name. Not only is it the world's greatest seafood, but it's sustainably sourced and responsibly harvested every single year. And that's what we stand for here in the Test Kitchen. Thank you so much. Alaska Seafood for sponsoring this episode of Wolf It Down, and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. You can go to wolfitdown.com to get the printed recipe, and make sure that you ask for Alaska. This is amazing.